Do you want to speak with a very beautiful American accent, improve your pronunciation, and talk like a Native American? Then watch this video to the very end. Hello, my name is Maddie from Piece of Cake English, and in this lesson, I'm going to teach you 10 techniques that Native Americans use when they are speaking in English. In this way, you can improve your accent and pronunciation as well as your listening. As this is a pronunciation and accent lesson, I'm going to raise the microphone closer to my mouth so that you can hear me in a very clear way. All right, let's get to the first technique. When you want to respond to the question, how are you? You can say, I'm fine, thank you, or fine, thanks. But you can also say, I'm all right. I'm all right. But is this the way Native American people speak? No, they don't say, I'm all right. So what do they say? Instead of I'm, say, um, um. Instead of all, say, oh. So we have, I'm all right. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. How are you? I'm all right. The second technique about the pronunciation of couldn't and shouldn't. Now, do native people say couldn't, I couldn't do it, or I shouldn't do it? No. When they are speaking fast, instead of couldn't and shouldn't, they say something else. But what do they say? Now, instead of saying couldn't, Remove the D and say couldn't, couldn't, couldn't. Instead of shouldn't, remove the D and say shouldn't, shouldn't, couldn't, shouldn't. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. I shouldn't talk to you. 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 Why couldn't you call me? 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 You shouldn't eat so much. You shouldn't eat so much. You shouldn't, you shouldn't eat so much. How do native speakers pronounce the word was? Well, they don't say was. They say was, was. Not was, but was. For example, I was so busy last night. Instead of was, say was. I was so busy last night. Now say it faster. I was so busy last night. I was so busy last night. I was so busy last night. I was just joking. I was just joking. A native speaker would say, I was just joking. I was, I was just joking. Look at this word. Gotcha. Gotcha. But what does it mean? This is something that native speakers use a lot. Gotcha is the short form of got you. But what does it mean? It has two meanings. One, I understand what you were saying. Got you. Gotcha. Don't be late. Gotcha. Don't be late. Gotcha. It means don't be late. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Gotcha. The second meaning of gotcha means you cannot escape. It's like a police trying to catch a criminal. The criminal goes into a dead-end street. And then the police says, Huh, you can't escape now. Gotcha. Gotcha. It means we got you. There is no escape from us. Gotcha. What about you? Can you make a sentence using gotcha? Try it and leave a comment. Next tip is about saying, is he or is she in a question form. Look at this sentence. Is he coming to the party? Is he coming to the party? Instead of is he, a Native American would say, is he, is he. Is he coming to the party? 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 Or look at this one. Is she all right? Well, instead of all right, you should say 
Oh, right. Instead of is she, a Native American would say is she, is she, not is she, is she. Is she all right? Is she all right? Is she all right? Is she all right? So, is he? Is she? Is he coming to the party? Is she all right? The next tip is about the word probably. How do you say it? Probably. I would probably move to another city. Do native speakers say I would probably? No. Native speakers remove the second B. And instead of probably, they say probably. 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 He probably wants to talk to you. He probably wants to talk to you. He probably wants to talk to you. Say it fast. He probably wants to talk to you. Not probably, but probably. Huh. I probably have to go right now. I probably have to go right now. Say it fast. I probably have to go right now. I probably have to go right now. This is also true for the negative form. It's like somebody invites you to a party and says, Hey, Jack, do you want to come to the party? And I say, hmm, probably not. Probably not. Not probably not. Probably not. Probably not. The next word, which is very challenging to pronounce, is this one. How do you say it? Little, little, lil. Which one? Well, native speakers say little, little. Instead of saying it's a little hard, they say it's a little hard. It's a little hard. Sometimes, when they speak really fast, they don't even say de, and they say lil. It's a little hard. It's a little hard. Or, it's a little cold in here. You can say, it's a little cold in here. It's a little cold in here. Or if you're speaking really fast, you can say, it's a little, it's a little cold in here. It's a little cold in here. So, instead of little, native speakers would say little or lil. It's a little cold. It's a little cold. Uh, I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired. There are many questions that begin with what was. How do native speakers pronounce it? Instead of was, we've learned that they say was. Instead of what, they remove the T and say wa. What was, what was. So instead of what was, they say what was. What was he doing? What was he doing? What was he doing? What was he doing? Oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? Say it with me. What was that? What was he talking about? 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 And one extra point I want to tell you. How do you pronounce the word W? Well, it's not V. Look at my lips. It's not V. It's W. You pronounce it with your lips, not with your teeth and lip. So you don't say V. You say W. Now, this is a window, but this is a vase. So, vase, window, vase, window window. You pronounce the W with your lips. Window. This is true for what and was. What was. What was. What was. What was he doing? The next one is I would. I would. I would like to order something. Now, do native speakers say I would like to? No. They use contractions and say I'd. I'd like to order something. But is it true? No, they don't say I'd either. They say odd, odd. So instead of I would, you can say odd, odd. I would like to see him. I'd like to see him. I'd like to see him. I'd like to see him. I would think about it. I'd think about it. I'd think about it. I think about it. 
I would have to go. I'd have to go. I'd have to go. I'd have to go. I'd have to go. And now, let's learn the last and final tip of today's pronunciation lesson. But before that, if you are enjoying this lesson, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, click subscribe. The final tip is about how native people say I have been. Well, they don't say I have been. They use contractions. Instead of I have, they say I've. I've been. Now, when they speak fast, instead of I've, they say ah. So instead of I have been, they say a been. A been. Really? Look at this sentence. I have been doing this for many years. I've been doing this for many years. I've been doing this for many years. I've been. I've been doing this for many years. I have been looking for you. I've been looking for you. Repeat after me. I've been looking for you. I've been looking for you. I've been looking for you. I have been trying to get out. I've 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 been trying to get out. And that's it, guys. Let me move the mic a bit further from my mouth so that I can speak loud and clear. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to practice to improve your accent and pronunciation. See you in the next lessons.